In today's video, I'm doing a ATM haul. ATM is really one of those brands that heavily focuses on wardrobe staples. Two of the most important things for me are cuts and fabric. Is it gonna look good? Is it gonna feel comfortable? Something to note about ATM is that when they come out with a color, they literally make it in all of your basics, all right? So for example, this green shirt, Comes in a plethora of choices, anywhere from long sleeve to short sleeve to v-neck to crew neck. Well, you get the gist. Everything I try on today is going to be with these R13 shorts. They have fun zipper detailing above the front pockets. Then on the back, they have the classic R13 stitching, which they only do on one side. Uh, as you can see, not on the other, just one side. But yeah, I thought these would be a good option to wear with everything. So this is the first shirt I got. It's a V-neck t-shirt done in Pima cotton. Literally the softest cotton ever. I absolutely love this unique tie-dyeing of this shirt. That's what really caught my eye. I really like how this is eye-catching, right? So it's not crazy. Sometimes tie-dye can be really over the top. This is definitely a vibe. Continuing with the tie-dye motif, we have this crew neck t-shirt with tie-dyed stripes, which I absolutely love. I love the colors. I think they're very preppy, but again, it's tie-dye, so it gives it a different look. Just the way the shirt's constructed, it's still cotton, but it's a little bit more on the sheer side. Very lightweight, very comfortable, I feel. I like the shirt so much, I ended up going with the long sleeve version of it as well. So same idea, just with longer sleeves. And now that I have it on, I honestly like this better than the short sleeve version. So they had the same shirt, just in a different colorway. I had to, I know. But this was navy blue and white. Really love that. Keep in mind the white color is probably going to be more on the sheer side. But hey, some people love that. Something about the stripes being tie-dye just brings it to a whole new level. I can see this being a go-to shirt for the summer season or the warmer months, really. It's very breathable, it's very comfortable, it moves well, it drapes well. Overall, a really great shirt. Next up, I got a hoodie. This is in a really, kind of like a faded blue, summer in Nantucket vibe. It feels like a polo, like a really soft polo. It's such a classic piece. I can definitely see this being worn a ton during the summer, right in the evening time when the sun goes down and gets a little bit cooler. Perfection. So I've seen this color a lot with Bottega Veneta. It's this bright green. I know this color has been around for years and centuries and all that, but Bottega really kind of brought it to the forefront of my mind, and now I'm kind of obsessed. And now I just see this color everywhere. So I think you know where this is going. I saw this shirt, literally reminded me of the green from Bottega, and the rest is history. I like it even better on. I think it really complements my skin tone. Now maybe this is too bright of a color on its own. So the way to cut that down, add a bomber, add a jacket, add a cardigan, anything that's really gonna cut that color down, but really frame it nice so it's still there, but maybe not so overwhelming. I also feel if you do a bright color, keep the rest of the outfit simple. Next up is a camo print t-shirt. I like the color scheme of this camo. I feel like it's very fresh. Even though this is a pattern, I feel like it's pretty versatile. I could wear it by itself, but if I added a pea coat, really just changes the whole look of the shirt. The jacket just took us from a casual look to something much more put together. Next up, we have a purple t-shirt done in the Pima cotton. Now, don't get me wrong, everything that I've tried thus far from the collection is very comfortable. However, the Pima cotton items have been the softest and the most comfortable. Just a classic, nice fitting tee, add a leather jacket, and you are ready for date night. And lastly, I got a Henley. The color really reminds me of kind of like a light faded denim. And here's what it looks like on. Very soft fabric to the touch. To elevate this look, I would just layer the Henley with a denim jacket with a Sherpa fleece collar. So that will conclude this haul. Thank you so much for watching, and I will catch you in my next video.